How's it going guys? Matt here with Code Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to look at some C++ standard stuff. Rule of three. It's uh, from CVP reference. It's also just a standard that you should know about with C++. But I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you don't know it yet. And I'm just going to verbally go over it. I don't know why I make these videos sometimes. I feel really goofy just making videos based on things that are already written. Like I'm reinventing the wheel or something. But no matter, some people like these videos. A lot of you seem to. So I appreciate that. I'll keep making them if you keep liking them. The rule of three, five, and zero. What is this about? What's the point? Well, this is all about constructors and destructors for when you make C classes. Generally, you want to follow one of these rules. You should either have three constructors, five, or zero. Now, this is because compilers tend to do a lot of work for you. So sometimes they don't quite understand exactly what you want with your class. And that's why you've got to follow these rules in general. So let's just read it. Rule of three. If a class requires a user defined destructor, a user defined copy constructor, or a user defined copy assignment operator, it almost certainly requires all three. So let's unpack that. It actually talks about it more here. This will probably explain it because C++ copies and copy assigns objects of user defined types in various situations, passing slash returning by value, manipulating a container. So this is talking about like your the private members in your class. Um, and what happens if you make a new instantiation of your class and set it equal to a previous one? Does it copy the data members or what happens? So it's considering stuff like that. These special member functions will be called if accessible. If they're not user defined, they are implicitly defined by the compiler. That's really important. So if you don't do anything, you just make your class, you don't make constructors or destructors, they are implicitly defined, which means your compiler basically makes the definitions that it thinks are fine for default. And you might ask, okay, well, what's the problem with that? Well, in some cases it's fine. That's where the rule of zero is gonna come in. But in other cases where you are managing memory, then it's special, it's different. Because if you have to define a destructor, it assumes that somewhere you're using the new operation in your class. Like maybe uh, you have a pointer that gets instantiated uh, when you create your class. So of course, when you delete your class, you also have to destruct that piece of data that's being pointed to. You know, there's things like that. All right, well, we'll, we'll continue on. We'll, we're gonna kind of drill this in. All right, the implicitly defined special member functions are typically incorrect if the class manages a resource whose handle is an object of a non-class type, such as a raw pointer or a file, file descriptor whose destructor does nothing and copy construction assignment operation performs a shallow copy, which will copy the value of the handle without duplicating the underlying resource. So shallow copy essentially here means, hey, we're copying whatever's pointing to the data, but not the actual data itself. So this, as you can see, this gets into memory management. Now, if you don't understand it by this, then hopefully this um, example will make it a little more clear. So let's continue. So here's a chunk of code that is supposed to make an example of why the rule of three is a good idea. All right, so let's go over this step by step and think about it. All right, well, they got, uh, let's just go to the class. They got a class, they named the class rule of three. Obviously no one's gonna have a class named rule of the three ever, so yours will vary. But the point is, as you'll see, well, this first section is private because that's the class's default. They've got a character pointer called C string, essentially an old version of a string, just a character array, which is, you know, just a pointer to the first part of it. Raw pointer used to handle dynamically allocated memory blocks. So they've got a dynamically allocated memory block. So yeah, this is how you, you one of the ways you could do it. Um, because of course, what it's pointing to is going to get instantiated later and etc. So they have a default constructor here. Well, not entirely default. It uh, takes a pointer to another another character. Um, so this could be another array of who knows what size. But they do have to pass in the size because you don't automatically know how how many it's pointing to. Like this is just the first one, right? Because it's an array. So the size in. All right. So they say allocate. So they take the C string and they say new character array of size n so they use this size n they're putting this on the heap 
and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say heap. We're putting this on the stack. So stack is generally instantiated at runtime. All right, so that's, you know, there's more to it than that. But if you're using new and making some kind of pointer data, it's pretty safe to assume that it's going on the stack. Okay, so they do that. And then they do a mem copy. And they're putting the data from S, right? This one they're passing in, they're putting it into the C string. And of course, mem copy needs a size. So they're essentially copying whatever this array is into the new one. But first they had to make the new one the right size because it's dynamic. All right, so we got, some, you know, it's all private here, but we have some memory management. That's the point. And mem copies, sure, it's an old, it's an old C function, but it's still widely used because, well, reasons. All right, so that's the private stuff. You can see we're dynamically allocating. When we destruct this class, we are going to have to free this um, C string here, this data. So right now, you're definitely going to need a destructor. So if you're going to need a user defined destructor, then you're also going to need a copy constructor and you're also going to need a copy assignment operator. That's the rule of three. If you need any of those, you need all three and we'll continue to explain why and drill it home. All right. So here are the public functions. So there's only a few ways to instantiate or uh, to initialize this class. And that is these three operations here. So since this one up here is private, nobody can actually call this, but we'll get to that here shortly because uh, you'll see how it works out. Basically, you call this front end one here called rule of three and you can pass it a character pointer, which is essentially some character array. If you don't pass it anything, it just it makes it one blank character or it will just be null terminated immediately. So they've got a default here. If you don't know what the defaults are, well, it's a C++ thing that says if you don't pass in a value, it's just going to assume that the value is uh, whatever this equal is. So this is the constructor you actually use when you make your class. And you can see it doesn't actually do anything in its body. All it does is call the other constructor that we already went over right here. So it will do this nice deep mem copy of whatever you pass in. So that's what it does. You, you just instantiate it give it a pointer to a, a character or not and it'll just be blank and uh you can see there it calls you know it passes in this s for this one here and the, it calculates the size using string length plus one uh, to pass into that size and uh there we go that's a very basic constructor and that's all fine there and now we need a destructor why do we need a destructor well we already kind of went over that but Basically because this is a pointer to dynamically allocated memory. So you got to custom free it. It's not going to just free itself when it goes out of scope. Well, the pointer will free itself when it goes out of scope, but the data is going to sit there till you delete it. So you definitely need a deleter. And uh, there it is. There's our destructor. And as you can see, we call delete array on C string. That should free all of that data uh, that is in that C string. All right. So what else do we need? We, well, we got a basic constructor. Uh, we got a destructor. Very good. But really the rule of three is talking about these three right here. I mean, the basic constructor is fine. That is often, you know, having a basic constructor is not enough to talk about the rule of three. The rule of three is very specific to destructor, copy constructor, and copy assignment. So keep that in mind. And those are the ones, if you have any of these three, you're going to need the other two. So I know I'm drilling that point home, but that's literally the point of the rule of three. So if you don't get that, you're missing everything. So that's why I'm just saying it over and over. Okay, so here we go. Here's a copy constructor. How do you make a copy constructor? Well, you pass in the other one by reference and you make sure it's const. Um, why by reference? Well, because it's fast. Why const? Because this is a copy constructor, which means we are definitely not doing anything with the other one. We want to make sure we don't do the move operation. We could accidentally be doing a move if it's not const, but const says you're not allowed to do anything with this other data. And if you want it, you're going to copy it. So great. So copy by reference, uh, fast as it gets pretty much. And as you can see, it just calls the basic constructor with the other string. So this, if you use this constructor, it's going to go to here and then it's of course going to go to here and it'll work correctly with a nice deep copy 
And then we have a copy assignment. Now this is the equals operator. How do you do the equals operator? Well, you got to return a reference to your class, first of all, and then you do operator equals. And then you once again, just like this copy one, you want to reference that's const. That way you can make sure you uh, are doing a copy and not some weird move operation or something. All right. And we just have some logic for the equal. First of all, if we say, well, if we're trying to copy another class and it's already the, already the same, with you know, little equals equals check here, then just return the class already. It's already the same. So, but if not, if we go past this, if they're not already equal, when you set them equal, then it goes through a whole operation. First of all, it's got to get a size. It needs no size. So it does the whole string length on the other one, checks its size. So it's instantiating in there, the proper size. And then we're going to make a new string, just temporary one. Well, it's not a string, it's a character pointer. So it's an array of characters, string array of characters, basically the same thing uh, in some ways. So we just set it equal to a new character of that size. This allocates the memory but it doesn't fill it out yet. We got to do that mem copy to populate it. And then what is, why are we deleting the, uh, this one here? What, what's going on here? Well, this is only deleting what was previously in string. So uh, the reason we're deleting here is because, well, we haven't actually used this one yet. This is just preparing, basically. We, we take this other C string and we're copying it into our new temporary variable. Then we're gonna clear whatever we had before with delete and we're going to set it to the new one and then we return our class as required. So as you can see here, we have to do a little bit of careful work on a lot of these, um, mainly this mem copy and just managing this memory. So this, the rule three here is really all about memory management. If you've got a, a private pointer that's dynamically allocated in your class, you probably probably need to follow the rule of three. Here's a main using it. First of all, they instantiate rule of three with uh, the data ABC. Then they do a C out of it. That's fine. Then they make another one and they use a uh, initializer list here, which is going to use a copy constructor because they're feeding the, the new rule of three class an old one. So what's that going to do here? Well, with a... Uh, with a list here, it's essentially going to use this operator right here when it constructs it. So it's going to take that other one and uh, call a base constructor, which will go up here and uh, then it will go here and it'll do a deep copy as, as you think it would right there. All right. And then they uh, do another C out of the new one. Then they make a third one and they call it def. And then they're going to set, they're going to use the equal operator or the copy assignment to set the third one equal to what the two one was so that's going to call this method right here you see we got the other one they're not going to be equal so it's going to fly through that it's going to allocate that new string um, just temporarily right there it's going to delete whatever 03 previously had which will be the def that'll delete it right there and then it's going to set it equal finally to the old one. Now notice that, uh, you know, we already did the copying right here. So the very last part is just saying, hey, put the pointer in the right place, basically. Put RC string pointer equal to this one. So this part right here just makes a pointer assignment since the data is already chilling there somewhere else. So interesting stuff. And that's, that's basically it. Now I didn't expect this video to quite take as long as it has. So I think I'll make separate videos for the rule of five and zero and just continue them after this. But uh, hopefully we've drilled home the point of the rule of three uh, for using that destructor, copy constructor, or copy assignment. If you need one, you need the other three. And here's just a nice little example. Of course, in your stuff, your data is going to be different, but just keep that in mind. If you've got stuff like this, you've got a pointer privately being instantiated, it's a good chance you're going to need to follow the rule of three. All right, stay tuned for more.